I think Ragnar can't do it because she also has push on her tier 1, right? So yeah. it could be a bit bastard. Okay. Yeah, it would be very good if Ragnar T1 had push. I like her push. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. <laughs> and yeah, we've here got are our... with the commanders who do a lot of movement. <laughs> Yeah, we've got two commanders that can both influence both theirs and their opponent's units. Jungle Season, TYM, September, Zygma versus Skyro. And yeah, you know, we're just going to see like basic stuff from the openings. Mm, looks like they're both going for the short trade line. And I'm actually curious if we're going to see people just ignore knocking the gate down with anything but the frog, or if they're going to try and speed that up a bit. Here I, come. I think having the frog out a little bit sooner is quite nice, just because it can launch your own units forward a bit more. Yeah, I think you still speed it up. I guess, here's a question I want to pose. What do you think is more valuable, a frog or a rifle? Um, I mean, it heavily depends on the pop. Yeah, it's very map dependent. I um, actually think in this case the frog's better. I think it has a lot of options of killing stuff on certain tiles. Like, um, you cannot hit this the central village from the inside with a knight, for example, because the frog will safely pull it onto the mountain and one shot it. No, this actually doesn't... can't happen. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So. For land units, they can only get sunk if they're pulled into water tiles or abyss. Oh, okay. If they're pulled into a terrain they can't be on, that isn't one of those tiles, they instead take 20 damage as if it was a wall. Oh, okay. I guess it's still nice to be able to do some free damage, though. Yeah, but... it's still nice. Yeah. See, so, like, naval like... is the exception to that because it just, like, dies to everything it can't be on instead of just getting pulled. Right. Huh. There are always like these little things in, in Wargrove 2 that if someone should make like a cheat sheet or something. Yeah. Uh, so the opening turned weird again. Yeah. It was pretty standard, but I don't know how this happened. And Zygma's just content to be like, yo, my frog can do this. And Skyro as well, yeah, they're both just like letting their frogs do their thing. <laughs> Skyro's just ignoring the sword. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. he, he, the rest of his army will, will deal with the sword, meanwhile Tenry is gonna grab Beacon in a very strong position in front of the yeah. HQ. Yeah, she almost has Groove as well. And before the game we are talking about Tenry Groove, like on this map which seems very golem spammy normally, Tenry is one of the few COs where you can't really golem spam against her. Yeah, she just builds what, like dragon, and then just murders your golems. She can also yeah. just go her own golems in, because you're always gonna be like down a golem against her. Yeah. Ooh, what is this grabbing? Harpy? Harpy, yeah. Yeah, with crit that kills. I mean, that's yeah. not amazing value. Yeah, it's mainly just for tempo. Oh yeah, because uh... your own maids got slowed down and damaged, so uh... it'd be a bit weird. Ooh. Zig also built Archer, which probably feels a bit more rough with uh, the less blockers now. Oh, is that just a Groove or a Spear? Yeah, just take oh, the Spear that, down. Oh, that was also at 169%. That feels like a bit of a waste to me. Yeah, I agree. I... Like, I hmm. It's a I difficult just... one. Because I think a lot of Zigma players... Not a lot of Zigma players. A lot of Lighter <laughs> players hold Groove for far too long. And actually, I think Zygma might have been one of those players that held on to a tier 2 Groove when they did the tier 1 sooner. I mean, the thing is, you're like right in front of Stronghold. Like, oh yeah, like here's this clump that they're kind of forced to make now. Yeah, exactly. And like, you could have gotten, you could have gotten a T2 this turn, maybe, if like, um, Skyro exposed enough. Like, yeah, this definitely looks like you could have gotten T2 this turn. And now, like, both players have used the groove and can't make super good pushes now. Yeah, ooh, frog pushing that harpy forward a little bit. Gonna be able to throw so like at more. 169, I would like groove knight. Yeah, knight harpy, but nothing less valuable than that. 
And even and like in Night or Harpy, I would I would feel a bit bad. Yeah, if it gets you like Templar and like another kill, then definitely that seems a lot more worth. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess like she's gonna have Groove pretty soon, actually. Pretty up at seventy-three or. Oh, is this? <laughs> Are you about to see lethal? death? Uh, what bitches? He also does smack with Henry. You could also do oh. smack with Henry. Yep, that's just dead. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is that dead? Mm. Oh, you need, you need 5% from somewhere else. Am I missing something? I don't think you are. Yeah, no, this isn't lethal. <laughs> it rolled. Ooh, that's yeah. unfortunate. Uh, wait, does Zook have another mage? Uh, nothing on the front line. I guess, uh, I guess the dragon doesn't reach anything this turn, at least. From Sparrow. Oh, funnily, there's not a really good, like, heal spot. <laughs> so Tenry has to stay inactive. But I guess she doesn't really mind. Yeah, well, we're about to see free damage on this golem. Oh. Resigns. Oh, wait, what? Um, yeah. From Skyro. Resign oh, I remember this game. So, yeah, yeah. So, like, Skyro wrote that he didn't know the thing you were just talking about, that frogs can't kill by dragging on mountain. So he was like, oh, my golem is going to get dragged on mountain in one shot. Oh, no. Uh, oh, so he thought he just gave up free yeah. golem. Yeah, so he resigned, and then he checked right after the game and was like, wait, that, that doesn't actually work? What? Oh no, that's such a... Oh. Oh, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because like, I did not see like how like Zeke was winning that anyway, besides like, yeah, if you if you were down to like a free golem, then yeah, that's definitely... Even then, actually, Wait, I think he's okay. okay. Like, yeah, even then, he's like, still probably like able to keep playing. Like, Zig is down three units at at the end of their turn. And yeah. like, you've got all of this other stuff to play with. And you've got Tenry, yeah. he's gonna get Groove again relatively soon. Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah, Tenry, I think, scales like a little bit better. As well, because, like, especially with Frog, so because it's so hard to walk forward, which hurts Lytra. I, I mean, guess... I think in a vacuum, Lytra has better scaling than Tenry, but on this map, then it's just a better seal. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I, like, I actually think Skyro could have won, even if he'd blundered. Like, even if that golem was just dead, I think he actually yeah, won. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You still have a lot of resources left. But yeah, when you see your golem just like... It got filled the I think. Yeah, he raised out of nowhere. You're like, okay, resign. <laughs> it happens. And it's also like TYM. Yeah, so it's not... Like, as serious to, like, surrender it early. Yeah, I mean, I guess, like, going into, like, future tournaments, Skyro now knows that, oh, I can just, you know, have my golem get yoinked onto a mountain by a frog, and it's not the end of the world. <laughs> so, if, you, if you're ever going to learn this lesson, like, now is a good opportunity. Yeah. Where was frog at that moment? It was, it was really close. It was, like, just under where the R is in the word victory. Are you talking about Ziggs or talking about Skyros? I'm talking about the Zygmas, yeah. Yeah, his, he, like, okay. he didn't even need to move his frog to grab the golem. Oh no, I'm, I'm talking about, I'm thinking like, no, frog can't actually kill the golem. So you could, but to actually kill the golem, you would need to move it on the yes. other side river. of the pond. Uh, yeah, drag it to the river and, and then, then light the groove it to the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be That's really sad. You would have, but there is also can't reach there. Uh, there is also night crit on the river, right? It's like something like that, either way. There is a like night crit onto the river, actually. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, so you'd probably just do that. Then. Yeah. yeah. Just murder the golem normally. Yeah, you would harpy crit it where it is, and then. Oh yeah. And frog then pull. night. Crit it oh, you'd frog pull first, and then harpy. Yeah. Because. If you pull a yeah. golem onto a, a mountain and there's a unit on the mountain, that, that unit takes damage, right? 
Yeah. Oh, they both hit. You, Wait, do you they? need the frog pull to in that hypothetical scenario where you can frog pull to river, you need the frog pull to get it to river. Yeah, that's or no, yeah. Not. no yeah, that's anyway. Not. anyway, the, the soul doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah, frog yeah. isn't there. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, anyway. let me test that scratch. Alright. So let's, uh, let's go on to the next game. Let, yeah.